Brock Fletcher with the selling team with Keller Real Williams Realty joins us and we are kind of talking, we talked about it a little bit at the top of the show. We're saying, you know, if you're gonna buy a home, it's really a good time now. And tell me why that is. Yeah, so it's, it's um, so with, with values going up really rapidly um, and then also interest rates are going up, um, what happens is if, if you wait too long, your dollar is gonna go less distance. So home affordability is gonna start dropping. If you buy right now and still capture that really low interest rate on your mortgage, you're gonna be way ahead of the game. So they're not predicting that, that home values are gonna come down anytime soon. Mm -hmm. So the main reason that's great to do it now is because if you wait a year and values go up and interest rates go up, then you're essentially gonna get uh, less house for the money. If yeah. You know. yeah, well, and things aren't getting cheaper. Like we're seeing it with everything, you know, we're seeing it with the grocery store, we're seeing it with rent. So when people are looking even at apartments, they're like, oh, I'll just get an apartment so I don't have the commitment. But the thing is, is I feel like you can get a much nicer home for the cost you're paying for even a two bedroom apartment. Definitely, rent, rents have gone up. Um, I, the quality of the rentals also gone up. I, there's some really nice luxurious type rental properties now, but but they're very expensive. So yeah, there's, uh, in terms of purchasing, your, your dollar is gonna carry you much further mm -hmm. if you purchase. But you mentioned it, um, or I think you mentioned it, um, you know, like if you're gonna be here for more than five years or you're committed to staying someplace for more than five years, mm -hmm. buying is a really good idea. If you're not willing to stay in a location for five years, yeah. renting probably is the best option. Because okay. there's, there's risk there if you're not gonna stay for at yeah. least a certain amount of time. A little bit of risk, but then just thinking of the monthly payments, you know, mortgage versus rental, you can definitely save when you're paying on a mortgage. For, for sure. sure, and there's a lot of tax write-offs and there's a lot of benefits that go into being a homeowner mm -hmm. versus renting. And it's all kind of predicated on what is your personal situation? Okay, yeah. all right, talk to me a little bit about inventory. I know we've had you in the past and we kind of chit chatted about inventory kind of being all over the place and there's really not a lot. Are we coming out of that or is it still kind of in that situation? We, we have, we're like really in dire straits okay. to be honest with you in terms of not the music, but the housing inventory. <laughs> um, so we're below 400 okay. active and available properties in the Tri-County area. So you, when you think about that, you're talking about a 40 mile radius. And when I came into the business 18 years ago, we had four or 5,000 properties available at all wow. times. So we, we have like a week and a half's worth of inventory is what it boils down to. And how it's, does that make you guys feel? Are you kind of a little bit in panic mode with that or you just need more people to list their homes? Well, that would be a solution. Yeah. If people were to list their homes, that would be a great solution. Yeah. Um, it, it's pretty stressful. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's um, every day I, I am stressed out about our buyers who need to find homes. Right. Um, and we're struggling to find them. So, so when you're saying, you know, people, obviously that would help you guys with inventory lists or homes. When people are getting their homes ready, how do you recommend them getting them ready? If they're saying, okay, I know that I can get top dollar for my home because they're in, you know, in dire um, situations. Yep. What do you recommend to get their home ready for the spring? The biggest things are get it clean, get it decluttered, get it ready for pictures. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be like you're watching better homes and gardens and you have to do all these fancy things. Just have it clean. Mm -hmm. If you do that, that's pretty much all you have to do in order to get it ready um, in our market here locally, clean and tidy. Yeah, okay, so additional tips for buying a house in this market. Are there any additional tips? So, you know, that would be the tips for maybe getting ready to sell, but yep. what about for buying? Yeah, for sure for buyers, um, get pre-approved with a good local lender. That's like A1, pick a great real estate agent because truth be told, when, when there's this much competition, um, the reputation of your agent often indicates whether you'll you'll win. Mm -hmm. Because if you're if you're competing in a multiple offer situation and you have a really well respected agent, that's gonna go a long way. No offense to new agents, sure. but but the reality is if, if people don't know you, mm -hmm. they don't know how you operate, they don't know your reputation. Yeah. And you're an unproven commodity. Yeah. Frankly. Yeah. So pick a good lender, yeah. pick a good agent, don't be difficult to work mm -hmm. with. Um, Call the selling team. Yeah, sure, call the selling <laughs> team. Um, those are those okay. are important things. Yeah. Yep. Well, and before we let you go, we have some additional tips for home buyers as well. We have some full screens that we want to pop up that you don't have to get approved based on income. There are more expenses than just your mortgage payment. So yep. you definitely have to have an emergency fund ready to go, right? Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, so as you're preparing to purchase a home, some things you need to be aware of, it's not just your mortgage payment. The, you know, you need to have, uh, money left over for utilities. Mm -hmm. You need to have money uh, saved for closing costs. You need to have, um, you know, emergency fund in case that, that furnace goes out. And the reality is not everybody is ready 
for a purchase. Yeah. If you're not sure if you're ready, you know, please feel free to call me. I will tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to just tell you buy a house you're ready. Yeah. If your if your situation doesn't make sense, I will say to you, listen. I know you're excited. I know that you want to purchase, but it doesn't look to me like you're ready. Why don't we get ready and six months or a year from now, you mm -hmm. will be ready and you can be a lot more confident in that decision. And Brock, your team will be very honest with them if they're ready and, and um, let them kind of know where they're at. Yeah, honesty okay. is, is is definitely the best policy. All right, how do people find out more or get a hold of your team if they're interested in all of the stuff that we talked about today? Sure, cell number is the best. It's 517-303-3262. Also, you can Google me and contact me that way. All right, Brock Fletcher, thank you for coming by today. Thanks, Sally. All right, stick around. Studio 10 continues after this.